PT Pop here with all four lobes of my brain tied behind my back and tonight I'm going to talk to you about the cost of a call center and why I think a call center is the aging dinosaur. Call centers are quickly becoming a thing of the past and I'm going to explain to you exactly why and my theory behind it. Um, one of the reasons I believe call centers will die is because people today that are 60, 70 years old will in the future be passing away. And the younger people such as myself or the millennials even younger than me will not need to call a call center. They will just look up their answers on the internet or they'll chat with somebody through a chat box. It'll be that simple and the call centers will be gone. It's not about good customer service. It's not about giving the customer warm fuzzies. It's a necessary financial evil to pacify the customer temporarily in a quick amount of time to get them on and off the phone to make them feel like something good happened to them when nothing really did. Cost of a call center. 100 employee call center. I'm going to use an example. I, I'm going to use an example of a call center with 100 employees. One employee, each employee makes $12 an hour. That's $96 a day or 40 hours a week. At 40 hours a week, that's $480 a week. $12 an hour times 40 hours. That should say $480 a week, not $4,480. That's $480 a week times 52 weeks. One person makes $24,960 a year before taxes. Times 100 employees, that's $2,000,000. $496,000 they pay in salary a year just for the call center employee to be on the premises, take calls, and all those fun things. And this is a massive factor when it comes to factoring the cost when you're employed at a call center because, they're, again, they've got actuaries and accountants at the top echelons of the company trying to figure out the quickest and cheapest way to run a call center, and this is how they do it. Now, when you're taking calls, so it gets very expensive. Hey, look who just dropped in on the party. Hey there, PT Pop. Another factor, another financial factor when it comes to the cost of running a call centers are the taxes, property taxes, insurance, etc. Like health insurance, liability insurance, utilities, air, heat, security guards. So let's just say the place I was in was a 103,000 square foot building and their yearly property taxes on the public record was $150,000 a year. Now these other numbers for insurance I'm just completely guessing at but let's just say they're paying $500 per employee for the premium. They're paying a premium for the health insurance. This times 100 employees that's $50,000 a year for health insurance alone. Now they're going to have a liability insurance on the property in case somebody gets hurt I, I this is my i might be encompassing a workman's comp in this too but you've, you've got four hundred thousand dollars liability insurance in case they get sued and this is just a premium they pay to cover their butts in case they get sued or somebody gets hurt on the premises or someone claims to have gotten hurt 400 grand a year for the premiums and liability insurance um, utilities you know to heat the company to heat the building to put water in it to get the, you know, water into the toilets and the sinks. Um, you're looking at twenty-five thousand a year. I'm just guessing at that. They probably get breaks, all kinds of breaks and discounts from the utility companies if they're a well-known company in the area at large. Uh, we had two security guards. Let's assume they are paying these security guards fifty grand a, a piece, which is way over the top because these guys are probably making nine bucks an hour. But let's say a hundred thousand dollars for the security guards. Now, the traditional person, the average person, does not know this, but a toll-free number costs money to the company receiving the toll-free call. Okay, I worked in telecommunications for about 12 years. A toll-free number, they lease the toll-free number. They're paying a monthly fee for the number. They've got inbound, what are called direct inward dial trunks or DID trunks that they're paying for. They're paying a cost per minute for the call. So when the customer calls, it's free to the customer if they're calling in from... Seattle and the company's in New York. It's it's free to the customer, but to the company, they're paying anywhere from two to five minutes, two to five cents per minute for the call for the inbound call. So let's say in this last call center I was in, I was required to take eighty calls in an hour. So let's say you get to take eighty calls per an hour at five cents per minute with a required talk time, maximum talk time of four minutes. That's eighty calls times four minutes is three hundred twenty minutes times five cents per minute is sixteen dollars a day at an average of four minute talk time. That's $16 times 100 employees, which is $1,600 a day 
times 365 days a year. That's an additional $584,000 per year just for the cost of the incoming call. And this is another reason why I think call centers are on the way out and they're going to they're gonna, um, gravitate more towards a chat environment where they get you to chat on the phone. So you've got cost of insurance, you've got cost of toll-free numbers, cost of the equipment. And in a moment here, I'm going to go over additional costs such as costs for the telecom department, IT staff, managers. I haven't even included the cost for mortgages and interest rates on the mortgage and all that other stuff. A lot of this stuff they can write off, okay? A lot of it is written off during the course of tax time. So they, they get breaks from the companies, they get breaks from utility companies, they get kind of write-offs and people are greasing each other's palms and they get and they also get, um, there's tax laws where they can write some of this stuff off, but it's all factored in on the overall cost to the company. So, boom. Let's go over the overall cost. So when you factor in the insurance, the taxes, liabilities, salaries, all everything overall, you've got 584,000 total cost per employee for inbound calls, 80 per employee, talk time at four minutes at five cents per minute. $100,000 for your security, your rent a cop, 400 grand for liability insurance, 50 grand for health insurance for the premium they pay to give you health insurance, Obamacare, whatever. It's probably more than that, but that's, that's the number I pulled out of my bunghole. 25 grand for utilities, 150 dollars, 150 grand for property taxes, 12 grand for telecommunication costs, 100,000 for IT staff. So let's say they have two IT people on staff at 50 grand a year. IT people usually make anywhere from 40 to 50 grand a year for just entry level IT, um, or maybe somewhat seasoned. 350,000. Let's say you've got 10 supervisors to supervise the 100 employees. That's 10 supervisors for every 10 employees. It should be something like that. It's usually one supervisor for every 30, but I'm making this up. So let's say it's 35 grand a piece for the supervisors. That's, that's an additional $350,000 a year. My numbers, my decimal places are off in the slide. You've got annual salary for 100 employees at $12 an hour. That's $2,496,000 per year. So your total cost to run a call center is $4,273, I'm sorry, $4,273,000 per year for a 100 employee customer service call center with 10 supervisors and IT staff. That's $11,706.84 a day, $106 per employee per day. Now this doesn't, as I said, doesn't include mortgage or maintenance. This isn't, I didn't include what it would cost to, uh, pay for maintenance people, you know, those people that mop the floors, clean the bathrooms. Uh, it doesn't include the maintenance costs that keep in a place like the, the roof from leaking and all that stuff. It doesn't cover their mortgage. If they own the building, if they're renting it, it's far more expensive. I, I'm guessing anywhere between five to 10 million probably to run a call center. But my numbers just for to show you that they are so concerned about the bottom line at these companies. They've got actuaries, attorneys, and accountants looking at this constantly. And the reason why they scrutinize your talk time so much is because you're costing the company money unless you're in sales. If you can somehow offset your old high talk time with phenomenal sales, you're offsetting the cost because you're bringing money in. So the bottom line is in a call center, it's not about pleasing the customer. It's about pleasing the bottom line. It's not about giving the customer a warm, fuzzy feeling. It's a necessary evil. The corporation is thinking, we've got to talk to these customers. We've got to give them a way to get their questions answered, but we can't afford to do it and have our customer service reps taking too long because it'll cost us a fortune. So how can we do this? They put, they put the screws to the supervisors. They put the screws to the customer service reps. They put the screws to the, to the um, district managers and the VPs and the regions. And this is just one call center. I mean, Verizon had like 15 call centers all around the country. I don't know about the world, but they had them all over the country. And these were 1,500 man call centers. 1,500. You're looking at millions and millions and millions of dollars. And they kept trying to get us to get people to go to the internet because it doesn't cost any, it doesn't cost them much money to have somebody go to the website and get the answer because they're paying for servers, they're paying for, um, you know, bandwidth. So there you have it. 
I predict call centers will be gone within the next 10 years because I think anybody 60 years of age and older that's around right now will no longer, will, they'll die, they'll pass on, and they'll no longer be out there calling call centers. The people my age and younger, the millennials especially, will never call a call center. They'll find the answers that they need on the internet. They'll go to the company's website, they'll chat with somebody online, and call centers, voice call centers will be small. They'll become extinct due to the cost, the high cost of them and the security problems with them as well. So I think call centers are by the wayside. Millennials, you rock. Put call centers out of business. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good night. Bye.